Now that we've seen how to add with integer tiles, let's take a look at subtraction. The big idea behind this lesson is to remember that subtracting something is the same thing as taking it away. Let's apply this idea to our first problem. 8 minus 5, or positive 8 minus positive 5. Start with 8 positive tiles. To subtract, we are going to take away positive 5. We then circle the leftovers, which gives us our answer of positive 3. What about negative 10 minus negative 4? We start with 10 negative tiles. We then take away 4 negative tiles. Our answer, negative 6. Take a look at this next problem, but be careful. It has a little twist to it. Positive 4 minus positive 6. Before we model this one with our tiles, can you see any issues that we might run into? In this case, we would start with four positive tiles. The problem we run into is that in order to subtract positive six, we don't have enough tiles to take away. So what do we do? To help us out, our friend the zero pair is gonna step in. In any problem, there are always a few zero pairs hiding out in case they are needed. In fact, there are tons of them just hiding out for whenever we need them since adding zeros to a problem doesn't change the answer. So let's see how zero pairs help us with problems like 4 minus 6. We start once again with 4 positive tiles. Since we don't have enough tiles to take away positive 6, we ask our zero pair friends to come help out. We bring out enough zeros or zero pairs until there are enough tiles to complete the problem. Now we can take away positive 6, which gives us negative 2. How about the problem negative 3 minus negative 8? We begin with three negative tiles. We realize that we don't have enough tiles to take away negative eight, so we bring out some zero pairs. Now we can take away eight negative tiles and get our answer a positive five. Let's try another one. Positive nine minus negative two. Start with nine positive tiles. Realizing we are short on tiles, we bring out two zero pairs. We take away negative two. Our answer? is positive 11. Here's one last problem. Negative 2 minus 5. We start with two negative tiles. Now, let's pause and take a look at a question that always comes up at this point. What if we bring out too many zero pairs? For our next step, let's bring out more zero pairs than necessary. We subtract 5 by taking away 5 positive tiles. Now, we have a group of zero pairs that were never used. What we do is we clean up the problem by canceling them out. Our answer is negative 7. 